Hello, so this is my part two. I'm going to experiment in um, fermenting uh, this beautiful oyster mushroom. I dipped it in baking soda water because some people boil it, but they know it loses its nutrients, half its nutrients by doing so. And I certainly don't want to do that. I want to reap the benefits of the entire um, oyster mushroom, okay? And so I decided instead to get creative and throw some baking soda water over it. And I'm gonna do a fermentation part apple cider and part salt water. Why? Because I don't have enough room in my fridge. Uh, and with apple cider, I don't have to rush it. It could stay there for two years. Okay, so I have put, uh, let me see if I can do this, my, my herbs in each cup, and it is ready to go. Okay, and so, I don't like touching anything when I'm going to do this. I'm not a fan of this. I have included some of my basil plant in it as well as fresh rosemary, thyme, and I forget what the other one is. Let me wash my hands briefly because I touched something. Um, I also want you to know that before I put the herbs in there, I use purified boiling hot water to rinse each jar. That is very important. I once ruined my kraut fermentation and I believe it was because of that not to mention I did it outside <laughs> with the dirty air right air pollution so that wasn't very smart okay so I'm going to get ready to cut this beautiful mushroom now it looks like this because it just had some water but it was for its own good right it was for my own protection I did not want to boil it because <laughs> quite frankly boiling it would have really I mean why would anybody want to boil it some other guy the only two Two um, uh, two YouTubes on fermenting uh, uh, mushrooms. Look how beautiful this is. Two videos only. And I decided I have to do this because I bought this. And I have TMJ. I'm not very good at chewing. So it'll be a while before I finish all of this. <laughs> Quite a long time. I think I'm going to make two of them in apple cider vinegar. Okay? So... Here you go you have the spices in there the herbs i just put in oh where is it uh, some mushroom look how beautiful these mushrooms are gorgeous huh beautiful okay so let me continue and um one of them only is going to be with brine with uh brine which is salted water Okay, because I just don't have that much room and I really want it to last because it's not like I, I go, if I love this, I don't, it's not like I go out and buy mushrooms all the time. And I think I'm going to use even this body portion. What do you think? If you have any comments, let me know. Any suggestions? I'm not a pro when it comes to the oyster mushrooms. Okay. But it's, this is as good as the stem. Some people use the stem. Some people don't. So, um, I'm just going to pour this in here. And so you can see what's going on inside of that, okay? Uh, I think, I think I could probably, uh, I don't need three jars. So I think I'm going to put everything in here, over here, because this is where I'm going to make it with, uh, apple cider. Now nobody has done it with apple cider that I know of to my knowledge, but I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so there you go. And there you go on that one. Okay, this is going to be brine and this is going to be apple cider. In fact, I'm not sure I want that much brine. I think I want most of it in apple cider because I don't think I want to really babysit this for so, for so long. Okay, so now you see that jar is filled. Okay. I'm going to fill it up with some vinegar. And this, I need a better stand. 
Um, I think that instead of using this, I'm going to use a small jar. And uh, let's see if I can find one. Here I go. I'm going to remove, I'm going to get some hot water on this jar. Oops, it's a daisy. Hot water on the jar. Hold on. So I could rinse it and purify it. Even though it's clean, uh, that's the golden rule. And I'm going to abide by it, okay? So, we'll see in a minute. It's going to start boiling. Not much in there. No. Okay. I almost burnt my own hot water boiler. I don't want to do that. Okay, I put enough water there. It'll boil any minute. Um, in the meantime, back at the farm... I'm going to start pouring. I'm going to shake this apple cider. I found it for $11, this whole gallon. It is competing with the major brand. I'm not going to say who, uh, but there's competition now. $11 for this brat like bottle. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. They have it in a, a smaller size as well. But let me stir it. Get the mother around. And I don't know if I'm going to mess this up. But if you could do do it in brine, you could do it in honey. Why can't mushrooms be done in vinegar? Here we go. You set it and forget it for two years on this. And this smells like apples. I could really smell it. To me, it smells better than competitor. If you know what I mean. Boom. So this one I could set it and forget it, put it in a dark room, and that, look at that, look at the bubbling, oh my goodness, do you see that? Maybe that's why they never do it in, you see it, the bubbling? Oh my goodness, what's going to happen if I close it? <laughs> Maybe this is a mistake, huh? Because it's got all that good bacteria boy, bubbling in there. I don't think that's going to happen with the water. We shall see. Okay, that's kind of scary. Look at that. It's like boiling. Like if I close this up, it's going to pop. If I close that up, it is going to pop. It looks like soda. Look. Do you see it? I'm kind of blocking the light from it. But look at it from the side. It looks like soda. Wow. Wow. Looks like a soft drink. You see this? The bubbles coming up from everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't want something popping in the middle of the night, but this is certainly very interesting. <laughs> Never done this. I'm not sure if anybody has. But let me just uh, get a closer look here at what's happening. Wait, okay. just, let's... Sorry for the delay here. Okay, here we go. Look at it. It's like soda. Carbonation. Does that make sense to anybody? Please give me your thoughts on the comment box because I've never done it with vinegar. Maybe vinegar and a live enzyme like, look at that. Like um, what this is, right? Look at that. You see the bubbles? It looks like, like it's a soda drink. Wow. So this is also purifying it. Now I did put baking soda in it, so it's possible that the baking soda, just like when you mix baking soda with lemon, it causes bubbles also. So it may not be the mushroom. It may very well be the, the wash that I used for it, which was baking soda. Look at that. That's beautiful. See the bubbling? I don't think anything, any harm has come to it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me get back, back to business, right? Back to normal. That was quite interesting, if I may say so myself. All right, so now I'm going to pour hot water on this and I'm going to put the lid over it and then I'm gonna swish it. People bathe it in water, but you know what? It's not really necessary. Frankly, I mean, I'm using this paper and this is, Hot, so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swish it around 
I'm going to use this. This looks like it's the same right size. And that's it. I swished it. And I baked the whole area. All right? You don't have to give it such a hot bathe and bath and, you know, just so it could look good on camera. You don't have to do that. It's hot. Actually, I could I could keep this closed for a little bit just to keep the heat in, right? Just keep it closed while I'm doing other things, right? So, back at the farm, I'm going to take this here and put it in a smaller jar. I don't need that much space for it. It looks pretty in this one, but it doesn't have to be going there. Okay, so now this, this I can feel the, the heat, all right? And I am going to transfer, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy, I don't like that I dropped this outside, so I'm going to pour a little bit of purified water over it. Okay, I'm not going to be a fanatic like some people like to be. After all, if it goes bad, it goes bad. But, you know, there's germs no matter where, where you go. All right, there's always going to be germs. Okay. So here we go. Now, one thing I forgot to do is put garlic for crying out loud. That's my main, that's my main ingredient. So back at the farm. Okay, I'm going to remove this here. I'm back at the farm. What I'm going to do is, since this is vinegar... I'm going to put the garlic in here with the peel without stressing out, oops, without stressing out, okay? And over here, as you can see, this is a bag, and I ziplocked it, and I'm just going to mash it. No, I haven't seen a lot of people do what I do, so it serves you to watch <laughs> and get some ideas that may or may not be new to you. So now <laughs> the garlic wants to come out. He's like, help, get me out of here. And I don't think it's a big deal for the garlic to be open. Although it should be open more in water brine than in, um, uh, than if it's going to go. I have never heard of it going open like this in a, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> My goodness, for crying out loud. In a apple cider brine, okay? But I'm going to do it anyway. And I'll let you know how it came out, right? Because I'm not going to wait for somebody to come along and show me how to do it. Heck, I'm going to do it myself. So this is going to be a garlicky tasting mushroom. Okay? Garlic tasting mushroom. You know, all of this, I make tea out of these. I let them dry out, just like the onions, and I make tea. And uh, I'm going to show you, where did I put the jar? Right over here, I make tea out of onion peels. You see the peels? You see that? And it came out nice and dark. You see the liquid? And if I have garlic peels, I mix it, and I put... I put um, cloves in it as well so onions and garlic and cloves and uh put that in there and um whatever i can and it's supposed to be very i'm sure it's very nutritious i'm, I'm sure i'm doing something really good to my body when i do that okay so wow it's a lot of garlic in here huh it's a lot of garlic in here so see the peel i'm gonna keep this peel a lot of this peel because I'll let it dry out and I'm going to put it in my tea, in my onion tea. And I'll show you how that looks in a little bit. So you could get an idea how you don't need to spend a lot of money in this jar, this, the other jar. Uh, you don't need to do that. I have a lot of garlic in here. So there's going to be more of a garlic fermentation, I guess, huh? Oh, it's a it's peel. It's, it gets sticky. Okay, so as you know, garlic is sticky. Very, very sticky. So I'm going to put it here just like that. You saw the paper? Okay. Let's see how much of this I could fit in here. Because, see? See all that I have in here? It's a lot. 
it is a lot so it's good to have it open because it loosens the nutrients throughout okay and uh, with or without the peel it is appealing <laughs> so watch I'm putting some garlic in here and this is with all oh, this this piece of peel here okay so I'm going to show you how I save my peels Stay tuned till the end. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you won't miss a thing. How does that sound? Okay, so this one, I'm going to take some of the peel out and let it go in there. Okay. And believe it or not, that drink is, is not bad at all. It doesn't taste really bad. Um, I guess some people are very picky. I'm not. So here's another, oops, I shouldn't be showing my sweater, I should be going around the camera lens, be more professional, here we go. And so, everything, almost everything is gone, you see that? Almost everything is out. What you have in there is a lot of peel, and it'll just go in the garbage. So these bags, I save bags, but they, they serve me plenty good, plenty times. So I don't need a whole lot of garlic in here because I got the brine going with the honey. Uh, so I got plenty of garlic that's being fermented. I think I want to save this too. What the heck? It'll dry out. Okay. So the important thing is that I need to wash my hands. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. Okay. So back at the farm, I'm going to put the salt. Where did I put the salt at? Am I dizzy or what? Where did I put the salt? Redmond salt. Doesn't have to be Redmond salt. I do have sea salt in here. I'm not going to advertise for them. I think it's an overkill, this, this Redmond salt. You know, I'm not a Redmond salt fanatic. So, I'm going to pour... This is not even, I think that should be more than enough. And I think if it's too salty, better too salty than not enough salt. Okay. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Isn't it beautiful? So there's plenty of room here. I don't, I probably won't even need a weight. Okay. So I'm, I'm waiting for those bubbles to stop <laughs> before I, I close that other one down. Okay. But you see this? it to the top and I'm gonna put I'm going to use see I, 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 I recycle these I even wash them this is wax free wax paper you know don't even have to cut it I'll open it wide it's already clean and I'm just gonna put it over here with a rubber band and the lid right if you could see it well enough let's see okay so first what i'm going to do is get a weight i'll be right back i can't believe i ran out of weight that is crazy i've been fermenting too much guess what my weights are boom a shot of glass so it serves as a get weight. It's very easy. Oops. I'm going to put a little bit too much here. i just put it in here so it could spill a little bit without it going into the counter. Okay. <laughs> you see that? Got to be creative, right? Got to be creative. Look at this. I think it looks lovely. If you ask me, it, they all look lovely. Look at that. Nature. Nature. Okay, and, and it doesn't, doesn't have to be a mason jar. It does not have to be a mason jar. So you put this because this has aluminum. And sometimes they're old and a little rusty. Set it and forget it. All right? I don't even have to worry about shaking this one because it's filled to the top. It's not too full. And look, it almost looks like it's a, a deer's heart or something in there, right? <laughs> it looks like a piece of meat. So I'm not good at chewing these days because I was, um, I was um, what do you call it? Uh, Rear-ended uh, almost two years ago, actually on the 15th of December, 2020, I was rear-ended. 
Oh boy, I'm going to need another weight for this. And I think I've run out of weights. So I'm going to freeze this for a minute while I look for something. Okay, so I found a weight. I was not wanting to use this at all because it's a little big and it has writing in it. Um, but it's not going in apple cider. Well, actually it is. I think I'll... I mean, this is engraving. I hope this stuff doesn't wear out. I don't want it in my food. Just don't have another weight. Can I think of a solution? Right now, please. Like, hello, I need a solution right now. Um, I can't believe I, I ran out of shot glasses. I mean, I could use this as a weight, but I'm going to have to dump something. Um, I'm going to have to dump something. So, to be creative, I'm going to boil some more hot water, boil some more water, then it'll be hot after I boil it, right? Uh, and uh, I'm going to see about that, We're using that weight. Oh, wait a minute, I just found a, a shot glass. Oh my goodness. This is cool. I found a, a shot glass. Okay. So, here we go. Boil some more purified hot water to throw it over the weight. Hopefully that weight would be enough. I don't want to use the other one. The other one's big, but it also has some red carvings in it and probably ink. Um, so you see how it's still bubbling? Do you see that? That's really... It's got to be because I washed the mushroom in um, baking soda. I'd rather do that and get these beautiful bubbles than to boil the hell out of this beautiful mushroom and kill part of the enzymes, which is really the plan to eat something with enzymes, not to destroy them. He said that he added more enzymes by putting something else. Well, I mean, quite frankly, I mean, if I'm going to kill enzymes and then add more enzymes to make up for it, Nah, that's not the way I operate. That's a guy thinking. It's not a female thinking. All right, so good thing I, I found a weight. I could use either weights. Um, I could use this. I, I'd have to remove the plastic, and I'd have to sterilize it. But it's going to bring this down substantially. Maybe it is a good idea, quite frankly. So... How easy would it be to remove? This is plastic. It's not even rubber, for crying out loud. I could remove the plastic, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to put it back in there. That's uh, the darn sure. But I'm going to take a chance, and I'm going to sterilize both pieces. One little slip and I cut myself because I'm using actually a knife. Uh, I'm still trying, trying to remove this. I'm not too sure I'm gonna how successful I'm gonna be. And if I put this as a weight, it's, the plastic has to go. It has to go. Oh, look at that. Looks like I'm not sure. This plastic, the plastic is so perfectly. Oh, wait a minute. So perfectly fit. But I don't want to break the glass either because I don't want broken glass in my fermentation, right? Doesn't make any sense. So. I may want to give up on this one because I could end up hurting myself. I could end up, my hands are slippery from touching stuff. So I'm just going to, what I do with the, with the there it is, boom. I'm gonna dump this and dump hot boiling water over it. And 
as you can see it is hot you see you see the smoke and I'm gonna cover it a little bit and kind of like let it cook right let it simmer right that's what I'm gonna do so now he's been in there long enough and I'm going to like throw water over it all over and see how this I mean this is a little hot to go in there boom okay so back at the farm all right all right so i just dip this in in hot water as well i want to make sure that everything is in because some things are pointy and they stick out a little bit and that's not what i want see like this this over here you see it sticking out I don't want it like that. I, I almost kind of, well, let me just push everything in. What the heck, right? It's not hurting anything. Seems to be doing quite well going in there, but uh, I'm going to have to shake it, stir it to make sure before setting it and forgetting it because it's got some floaties in there. Uh, boom. Okay, so now I'm going to use... Another one of my favorites. <laughs> crack, cr cracker, cracker, uh, wax. Free cracker wax. Okay. So, I'm going to put this over here like that. Can you see it? There you go. And I'm going to put this plastic lid right over it. And I'll check it out for a couple of days before putting it away for a couple of years. Seriously, a couple of years. Okay, it doesn't have that much. Okay, so this does, okay, now it's tight, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, look at that. It even smells like wine in here, you know, with that bubbling. Um, it really set the stage for me, if you ask me. Um, so I'm quite content with what I've done here. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, hit the notifications bell, subscribe, and send me a comment about my experiment here. If anybody has done this, what you think about it, I think, frankly, just because others haven't done it, doesn't mean I can't do it. Holidays are on its way. Who knows? I may be dibbing, dibbing and dabbling at least a little piece by Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Happy Thanksgiving, and then Merry Christmas. I'm not a big fan of holidays. Um, I'm a fan of Jesus Christ. I don't think he was necessarily born in December 15th. Actually, there's a God that's worshipped by the pagans born on that day. A lot of things have been twisted, but that's only my opinion. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a holistic remedy professional. But I am a human being. And God gives us senses to do the right thing. Thank you for joining me in preparing foods that are indeed the right thing for my health. Thank you and have a great day. Bye now.